In this experiment, we're going to look at air and what makes up air. Well, we know at least part of the air is made up of oxygen because that's what we breathe, that's what we need to survive and we, we are here, we're living. So it must contain oxygen. So in this experiment, we're going to look at how much of the air is oxygen. And to figure that out, we need to know one fact. And that is, what does flame need to survive? Well, it needs heat, it needs fuel, and it needs oxygen. They're the three things you need for a fire or flame. Heat, fuel, and oxygen. Now, a, a little tea light is going to provide us with the fuel. A match is going to provide us with the heat. And the air is going to provide us with the oxygen. To do this experiment, you need a few things that you'll probably find lying around the house. You'll need some matches. You'll need a tea light. You'll need a cup. A ruler paper and a pen, water and a container that's no deeper or where the water level doesn't come above the depth of the tea light. To start off we're going to want to measure the depth of our cup or glass. And I bet just just remember that the ruler never starts at, hardly ever starts at zero. We get this as precise as we can, and I make that ninety five millimeters almost exactly. So we'll write that down so we don't forget. So height of glass ninety five millimeters. Next, we're going to want to light our tea light. Yeah, we've got to we're going to replace that in the water. Okay, and once that's got going nicely, we're going to want to place our beaker or glass. It needs to be see-through, whatever you use, over the top, like so. We want to leave a small gap under the surface of the glass, and that's what's going to suck the water up to measure. Okay, now that that's gone out, we can see that water has been sucked up inside our glass. Okay. And to measure that, what we're going to do is put our matchstick in and we're going to measure the height of where that water comes. Okay. And then, so now we can take the ruler and measure the height of the water, which is two centimeters, almost exactly. So now we want to write that down. It was two centimeters. We're taking our measurements in millimeters. Ten centimeters to, sorry, ten millimeters to a centimeter. So that's twenty millimeters. Now we want to calculate the percentage. So to do that, we want our second quantity divided by the first. So that's going to be twenty over. 95. Put that into the calculator, we get 20 over 95, which is going to give us 
um, that number there and then we want to times it by 100 to get a percentage equals 21.05 let's say uh, surround it properly yeah 21.05 equals 21.05 percent which is extremely close to the actual correct value of the um, atmosphere of the oxygen in the atmosphere which is 20.8 percent so we were only 0.2 percent off its true value which is pretty amazing when you think we found this out just by using things you can find lying around your house.